Or this episode of Kickback, it's a 50-50 of Morgan State and you Albany homecomings. You feel me? Because you know, it's ladies only question. And I'm asking them, what type of guy you like? A 9 to 5, a scammer, or a drug dealer? Because you know, some of these girls nowadays, they like that fast money or they want a guy with a benefit. So we really ask them which one they like, right? Or the type of guys you prefer? Scammer, drug dealer, or 9 to 5? Drug dealer. I want him to move that way. Uh, I'm trying to be on the YouTube. <laughs> Respectfully, it is what it is. <laughs> Shalom, like to give all under glory and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakodash, like your double unders to our apostles and elders, great millstone, salutations to our sincere Akim, pushing this world across the four corners of the world. And as you just saw from this previous video of a Jay asking random females what type of man would they date, and it has to be ranked in order by a man that's working nine to five, a man that's into scamming, or a man that's into drug dealing. And the answers from these so called women and their so called logics explaining why they chose those particular men, such as a drug dealer or a scammer, were horrible. Just nothing but more vexation of spirit. And these are the finishing results of feminism, women's liberation, which is going to that poison of that serpent, referencing to the tabernacle of Edom, beginning with these higher ups. And we know as the hopeful elect. That Yahweh by Shema Shai has utilized the tabernacle of Edom beginning with these higher ups to totally annihilate the 12 tribes of Israel. And when you hear the answers throughout the rest of this video of these so-called women, you're going to get vexed as well. And you're going to see just the current mindset of these modern women. And this is the book of Psalm 58 and 4. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. So that serpent is a cunning, deceitful, crafty man which happens to be from the tabernacle of Edom, beginning with these higher ups, the so-called Illuminati. So their poison is going to their democracy, their way of thinking, their visions, their religions, their mandates, their philosophies. So their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that's stopping her ear. So that's why it's stated in Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter and the 33rd verse, their wine, Referencing to his philosophies, it's the poison of dragons and the crew of venom or asp. So if you get bit by a poisonous snake, it's not beneficial to your well-being. Just like this serpent Esau eat him by beguiling Eve, it's not good to our well-being. Because that's how you know a nation is destroyed when you look at the current mindset of those women of that particular nation. And just pay attention to the mindset of the so-called black, Latino, Hispanic, or Native American women in today's time. Totally through, which was all orchestrated by Yahweh Bashim Shai by utilizing his love and sword, the tabernacle of Edom. And that leads me to the book of 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and the third verse. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. And that serpent is going into this so called white man. And he beguiled Eve by using those enticing words. Those smooth speeches. So, you know, he was promising her she was going to have a strong stance within this world. Have that dominant vibration. Promising her that she was going to be raised upon a higher pedestal compared to her man. So, basically, the serpent was running game upon Eve and she was eating it all up. She was being gravitated by his smooth words. Just like when you see a guy at the bar and he's running game to a chick and she might be a little intoxicated. She's laughing at all his jokes being grasped by his words next thing you know she's walking out the bar with him so that's how that serpent beguiled eve and that's where we are in today's time with the current mindset of these so-called black latino hispanic native american women these modern women so but i fear less by any means as a serpent beguiled eve through his subtility because majority of our people are still blinded by the guy of this world representing esau edom so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that's in Yahweh Shai. So going back to that video, and you're going to see the rest of it. The guy was asking random females, what type of man will you date? And rate those particular men in order by either what profession that they are in. Either it's by a nine to five, drug dealing, or scamming. And as you know, with the current mindset of these modern women, which are shameless, giving too much liberty, Majority of them did choose the drug dealer or the scammer, 
which are totally abominable and not acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Shai when you actually read the scriptures. Because you go into the word scam, it goes into a dishonest scheme, a fraud. And let's get there in Proverbs 20 and 17. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man. So you know what these scammers, they love getting over people. They love scheming, being deceptive. But you don't play with a person's money. That's why it's stated right here. But afterwards, his mouth should be filled with gravel. So you can see that sometimes on YouTube of a scammer getting caught in public. And that particular person that got scammed by that scammer, they're putting hands on them. You know, or you could be locked up. Or in certain worst cases, that scammer would be put to death just by playing with somebody's money, which is ultimate judgment by you. How about Shemel Washa? So bread of deceit is sweet to a man. So you're getting those monetary funds in a fast way. That fast way of living might come by easily and sweet to you. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a great judgment for that particular person that's into that, especially the ones of our people. And let's link that up with also Proverbs the 10th chapter in the second verse. And it says, treasures of wickedness profit nothing but righteousness delivered from death. So being into scamming, drug dealing, getting riches by deceit, it's all part of wickedness that profit nothing. Because at the end of the day, it's dishonest and it's not credible to you. How about Shem Shai? And why do you think America is in the state that it's in? We already know by biblical prophecies that these are the things that are going to happen to America. But look how this so-called white man has established America. Pursuant to the book of Ecclesiastes, the 10th chapter and the 8th verse, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. So just by this so-called white man representing Esau Edom, not following the guidelines of Yahweh by Shema Shai via the Holy Word, he wants to come up with his own laws and unrighteous decrees. So that's why Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to translate the kingdom from one people to another because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. So if he's going to do that to the so-called white man, how much more did he do that to the ones of our people that's involved in that type of madness? So, of course, with the other answer, majority of these modern women was choosing a drug dealer. And let's see what Yahweh Bashim Shah thinks about somebody that's into witchcraft. Because once you're into drug dealing, that's all it is. It's sorcery. And this is Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, the 10th verse. That should not be found among you, anyone that making his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use a divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Because you're into that drug dealing, you're enchanting spells or demonic spirits upon that person. As of us, the Israelites given the law, statutes, and commandments, that's something that's totally unacceptable to you. How about Shem Shai? And it says, or a charmer, or a consultant with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. Verse 12, for all that do these things are an abomination unto you. How about Shem Shai? And because of these abominations, the Lord thy power do drive them out from before thee. And the Most High clearly stated in Exodus, the 22nd chapter, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So it's horrible judgments for the ones of our people that are caught up into that mischief. And here it is that the majority of these modern women of ours are into these particular type of men that's living these wicked lifestyles. And regarding the Jake that was asking these females those questions, when he heard some of those responses of those females saying they choose a drug dealer or a scammer, and some of his responses was, a man got to do what he has to do. You know, he has to eat however he has to eat. So just by you associating or justifying someone living that type of wicked lifestyle, according to the scriptures in Proverbs, the 17th chapter, the 15th verse, you are even considered an abomination unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So we, as an Israelite man, the reason why we're in this low predicament all around the world, we have the low quality of women. We are these women that have that low below surface level way of thinking, we as an Israelite men are looked at as the Most High Yahweh's woman. So by us not following along with his guidelines via the law, statutes, and commandments, we start worshiping other gods, start doing all these filthy, wicked acts that's totally unacceptable to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. He gave us that bill of divorce. And to get back at us, rightfully so, he got us back 
with our women. And that's why we are seeing in today's time, in these latter days, as it says in Amos the seventh chapter, thy wife should be a harlot in the city or in the streets. And that's why majority of our women think like this. That's why majority of them are shameless. No type of virtue. It's totally loud. You watch this video, majority of these so-called women are drunk out there. And when you actually read the scriptures, the Most High is totally against that. But that's his way of getting back at us for what we did to him. And this is Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Referring to the nation of Israel. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh had created a new thing in the earth. A woman should compass a man. And you go to the word compass, it means to go around. So that's why you see in today's time with the so-called women of our nation, they have the highest paid jobs or positions. They are level up on a higher pedestal than the Israelite man. And another way you can go to the word compass, meaning to go around, they go around the authority of their Israelite man and they follow and go right along with their serpent being beguiled again by Esau Edom. And that's why majority of them are in that Babylonian mindset. Do as thou wilt, obey your thirst, live your life, dating a scammer or dating a drug dealer, or just by saying, I do not need a man. And the list goes on. So we as the hopeful elect, we know why we're in this predicament now. Because Yahweh Bashim Shai gave us the eyes to see via the Holy Spirit to know what's his light going against his ways. And look what type of predicament that he can put you in for disobeying his righteous standard via the scriptures. So we had to bear this. So even though what we're witnessing in these horrible times, we had to bear it at the end of the day because that's a part of our punishment. And this is not going to go on forever. That's why Yahweh Shah stated, for our burden is light. So that straight gate that we're going through had to just witness and hearing the filthy conversation of the wicked, all of that is not going to be a continual or forever thing. And this is Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Abishai. So we have to stand still in that righteous anger of Yahweh Bashim Abishai by being harlots out here in the streets, by being loudmouth, by being shameless, by being disgraceful. These are the things that we have to accept and just bear at the end of the day. And as it says in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, he didn't increase it in knowledge, increase it in sorrow. So it's grieving in the spirit to see these things, but we have to stand up as men to bear these things and just know in the spirit that these things are not going to be a forever thing. It's light at the end of that tunnel. So it says, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh by Shema Bashai because I have sinned against him. And you read into the book of prayer, Azariah, he stated all these things and judgments that the heavenly father Yahweh brought upon us. They were all righteous judgments and rightfully so, even though it hurts. But at the end of the day, you look at it through the spirit and hey, rightfully so. So because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. So the heavenly father Yahweh, he divorced us. As his people. And that's the significance of our big brother Yahweh Shai by doing what he did by dying on that cross for the sake of the Israelites, for the sins of the Israelites, beginning with the hopeful elect. And now we're being brought forth to that light by the way of spiritual understanding, by the way of knowing the Most High Yahweh's secrets now via the prophecies. And what we just read in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, that's one of the prophecies that it should be a new thing in the earth, a woman should compass a man. But majority of the so-called men of our nation, they are not able to see that. Why? Because a lot of them have not been brought forth to the light, which is that illuminated light via having the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And last but not least, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 26th chapter in the 8th verse. A drunken woman and a gather abroad cause a great anger, and she will not cover her own shame. As it says, a shameless woman should be counted as a dog. And after you watch this video, you're going to see majority of these so-called women, these modern day women, majority of them have a bottle in their hand or they have been drinking. You can tell just by the way they are talking loud, being all obnoxious. 
So a drunken woman in a gathered abroad causes great anger. So a woman that's drunk out there in the public view, especially at nighttime, or just a company of women being out together, that so-called girls nights out, that's unacceptable to you. How about you, Mel Rashad? Because you women are the weaker vessel. And that's something that I'm saying that's totally against the ways of feminism. But it's righteous in the eyes of you. How about Shema Vashai? You are the weaker vessel. And that's nothing that you can do or say or try to go to the ways of this serpent to take that away from us because it's written already in the Holy Scriptures. So you're the weaker vessel and you are at dangerous risk by not being in a sober mindset, being out there at nighttime by being drunk. And that's why a lot of these so-called women be getting raped when they be leaving these nightclubs late at night. Verse 9, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And when you watch the rest of this video, you're going to see majority of these females, these so-called modern women, they have those long eyelashes. Verse 10, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. So by a woman giving overmuch liberty, it's like a child being willful. She could be into some very dangerous circumstances. And that's why the scriptures are written for that, because as it says, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. So that's a cut to this so-called girls' nights out. So I brought this out, you was edified with this video, and you're going to be more vets in the spirit of seeing why we need Yahweh Shah to come back and totally annihilate this place America and set up that righteous standard upon this whole earthly realm. And that's what we're looking forward to as a hopeful elect. Because we need that righteous vibration upon this earth. And you can see why with the current mindset of these modern women, majority of them are going to die and they're going to die horrible deaths. Because all their ways, thought processes and actions are totally contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, which represents that righteous standard. So I'll be right this out. You always edify. You all stay strong. Keep pushing forward. Shalom. Scammer 9 to 5 drug dealer. Wow, that was quick. Oh, you had this planned out. <laughs> she had this planned out. She's an expert. She already, that's her whole model right now. 9 to 5 is more reliable, but scamming niggas going to get you what you want. Do you got a scamming nigga right now? No. Yeah, you don't got a 9 to 5 nigga? I don't have anybody. You don't got the drug dealer nigga? I don't have nobody. Damn, she's lonely. Damn. It is. They better sign on her DMs or something. <laughs> she's taking an application for the winter. I am. I tell the world I prefer 9 to 5, but I really want to scam her in my heart. No funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> Because Who are you, bitch? we didn't catch up. <laughs> they heard that in that video. Whoa, nah. He said, "Who are you, bitches?" Crazy. He's on bad. Hold on. This man, come on, Karen. Hold on, hold on. This, this man is on bad time. I did not figure out who the fuck that bitch is. That's my friend over there. Just... Oh, you see, lady, you gotta have a friend like this because he is backing you up. <laughs> I need a drug dealer and then a scammer. Then fuck the nine to five. The schema first, then the drug dealer, then the nine of all. They like the fast money over here. Because the fast money niggas, they got time. They can take you out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but Friday. But you just complain when the, the only take you out on the weekend. Take you out all the time. I'm, that I'm scammers and drug dealers. In all honesty, nine of fives got it because I'm not holding nobody down in jail. So I'm gonna take a nine of five. That's very true. She's taking a nine of five now. She changed. She thought about her answer now. Drug dealers. No. Nine of five. Nine of five. Nine of five. Drug dealers. Nine of five. Then scammers, then drug dealers. Wow. I mean, I'm used to drug dealers. You said what? I'm used to drug dealers. Scammer, drug dealer, nine to five. I like a scammer. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's the other one? Uh, drug dealer, nine to five. Drug dealer, nine to five? Yeah. Um, I would say nine to five because he's working his ass off. You feel me? I prefer a nigga working his ass off more than just getting that shit easily. Like, fuck is talking about. Drug dealer too. He works his ass off. Yeah, a drug dealer. A drug dealer. Cause as soon as that motherfucker say hold tight, bitch, I'm gone. Yeah. He's gonna be out 24 seven. Yeah, I'll be back. No. <laughs> Scammer number one. Okay. I'm gonna say nine to five then drug dealer. <laughs> Just cause I would say I, that I too. respect nine to five. I definitely do respect. Um, them. and usually niggas. Well, maybe scammers last, cause they be the least shit out of anybody. That's so. true. That's true. But I'm thinking about like 
You know what? <laughs> or they, you want them to drip you out. You want you want them to buy you shit. That's what's going on. Love to buy their girl stuff. So okay, scammer last. You said drug dealer or no, it's a fall. Come on now. She knows she wants to Don't panic. Well, I'm scammer last. Come on, what's your name? Which one? Scammer last. Come on, See, I know drug dealers that work a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know. I know. Be trying, I'm trying to get a I know drug dealers that, that work a nine to five. So it's scammer one? last, though, for sure. Because they don't, I don't know. I can't trust uh, my bank card. That last, I can't trust like, my bank so card. So, what's first and second, though? What's first and second? Well, I got a nigga, so my nigga. I'm going to say a 9 to 5 and then a drug dealer and then a scammer. Uh, okay. Probably a scammer as long as he don't get me messed up in his little works. He could do whatever he needs to do. As long as he gives me some bread, then he's good to go. Scammer 100%. You said but the world got a 9 to 5, but you don't want to scammer. The world knows 9 to 5, you know, a, a clean cut man, but heck yeah, I want to scam. I'm not going to lie to you. A drug dealer, I've been, I'd mess with drug dealers before. They don't make no money. They be broke, so. Wow. Wow. I mean, yeah. Wow. And then the last question. They be broke. They be asking me for money. Broke. Don't be broke. If they, if all they do is sell weed. If they don't sell coke, it's dead. You make a lot of money, yo. <laughs> you make a lot of money off of weed. Stop it. I said scam. Is you for me? If your pieces hit, our pieces hit. All right, our pieces is hit. Uh, okay. Drug dealer, nine to five scammer. <laughs> Ooh, nine to five scammer, drug dealer. A nigga with money, so drug dealers first. Oh, yeah. uh, so she only fuck with drug dealers. Hello. She only Wait, homecoming in New York side 2021. She only like the drug dealers. Remember that. Fellas, we a drug dealer come holla at her. All right? Yeah, babe. Skimmer. Uh huh. Nine to five drug dealer. This is a bad bitch. Right? All right, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna hold you. I'm gonna say drug dealer. Drug dealer first. Yeah. Okay. Nine to five scammer. I don't find the scammer. The scammer finished last over here. I like funny niggas that give money oh, six on, foot. On, lot of, on, I like a scammer. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Put it in order. Your type of guy. Where the fuck is my straw? What's my order? Yeah, yeah. Scammer, drug dealer, or a non to fall? I don't give a fuck. Uh, as long as he's my nigga. What are you talking about? I don't Say give that a get fuck. For the Say that get for the I don't give a fuck as long as he's my nigga. One, two, and three. Scammer, three. Okay. Drug dealer, two. Nine to five. Nine to five, nine one. To five one. All my nine to five what? fellas, we They're are working. winning. All us nine to five, we're they winning right now. They are working. You are right. working. You're your best. You're Scammer at the top. And then um, nine to five second, and then drug dealer bottom. Because like, if you go to jail for, like, if someone, like, I feel like the drug dealing world is very, like, chaotic. But, but a scammer is worse than no, drug dealer. No, but if no, you're a scammer, I'm going to take your pieces. You got to think about every scenario that could happen. Yo, you're so, a listen, listen. Where the car magicians at? You're a wow. scammer, homie. Damn. I'm giving it 9 to 5. Okay, I like that. 9 to 5, fellas, we're winning. We're nine winning. To five, 9 to 5. Um, only because, like, they have a 9 to 5 job, so they have time after. And they got benefits. Benefits. Can't forget the benefits. Yeah. <laughs> um, after that, I'm jacking. I'm going to scam scammers. I'm going to scam scammers. Because, like, I've been in a car with a drug dealer before. We got pulled over. Most nerve-wracking experience ever. You know I don't what? like that. You know why I'm putting drug dealers last? Only because, bro, they, okay, they be up during the times that I'm ready to sleep. So they yeah, do it. Yeah, busting shots, like, okay, like, I'm ready to sleep 3 a.m. in the morning and I want to sleep and you want to see me? Uh-uh, it's not happening. They get to the bag. <laughs> Money <laughs> don't stop. They got to get high. Scammers get to the bag too, but they do it during the hours Listen, of the day. Scammers get to the bag. Look at Scammers get to the bag. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm gonna, okay, safe order. Scammer, 9 to 5, drug dealer. Why can't 9 to 5 be first? Um, I feel they like got, yo, let's listen. I'm not listen, listen. That shit is stable, I'm not. Like, I like a nigga who's fast on his feet. Like, you know how no, to get listen, to a five. I'm not to five. They got health benefits, dental, a 401k. That depends on the job. Niggas, different niggas have different nine to five. We, we, we're talking about vague. We're being vague right now. All right, so don't don't so shit on my nine to five, five niggas. Yo, my nine to five niggas, I got you. They ain't about to shit on y'all right now. I got y'all. Feel me?